Good evening. I've been a supporter of green energy and a keen environmentalist since my 20s. My office is solar powered, so I was mortified to discover that a single lithium mine causes millions of tonnes of waste every year laced with sulfuric acid and radioactive uranium, polluting the water supply for 300 years, not to mention the unacceptable human costs with child labour to mine cobalt. When I researched which solar panel to purchase, I did not for one minute consider it would be made by people trapped in razor wire enclosed labour camps, being exposed to large quantities of quartz dust which causes silicosis. Please note that the Ethical Consumer Organisation report that it is hard to avoid forced labour in the solar panel supply chain. Wind turbines, which last about 20 years, consume a colossal amount of resources and energy to manufacture and install, not to mention the blight and bird kill. They require diesel engines to start them up and then gallons of oil to lubricate, and they can't readily be recycled. Solar panels are also extremely difficult to recycle, costing more than the production of the panel and lithium batteries pose steep challenges too. Add to that the human suffering, which we've all unwittingly been part of just by owning a laptop or mobile phone, which is minimal compared to what's required for an EV or solar farm. These so-called green or ethical solutions aren't solutions at all. Just very good marketing from the $1.5 trillion a year climate change industry. That's $4 billion a day, by the way. None of us can undo what's already been done, but what we can all do is make sure this doesn't escalate exponentially with fleets of unnecessary EVs and acres of solar farms eating up our precious farmland. 